Hey guys, welcome back to the groom's room. I am on the road today, heading up to Knoxville, Tennessee. It is a very rainy, wet, cold, nasty day, but I'm heading up to a music venue called Open Chord there in Knoxville. Uh, a band called Kick, the NXS Experience, is performing there tonight. They are an NXS tribute band. Gonna meet up with one of my best friends, Matt, who lives up in that area. He's a music connoisseur, loves the live music feel and the energy. And that's what gave me the idea to go ahead and do an episode of The Groom's Room today because going to a live show would be a great way to spend the bachelor party. You know, the energy of live music, the energy of the crowd, the energy of the performers, the lights, the sound, all culminate together to make this amazing euphoria. Have some drinks, listen to some live music, belt out the lyrics of these songs. Not so loud that you can't speak your vows the next day, but just up to that point. Okay, we are here at Open Chord. We see live music quite often. Yes, yes. And, um, as much as we can. Absolutely. Seeing Kick, the NXS experience. Matt, are you an NXS fan? I am an old school NXS fan, yep. yes. We actually have all access backstage pass to talk with the members of Kick, talk about maybe some techniques they use to get rid of those onstage jitters that maybe some of you grooms might experience. Some sort of feng shui, perhaps. Yeah, so come on, let's go. Uh, to the average guy, there are some parallels to what you guys do and to what um, they do on their wedding day. So they're up there in front of an audience. They're up there with all the big lights. They're up there with microphones. A lot of people are watching. Are there any ways that you guys prepare for getting in front of a bunch of people? Corey, for example, will go uh, just be alone for, you know, 15 minutes. Or he'll warm up vocally for a groom to really get over that nervousness you just have to try to um, take yourself away from it for yeah. a little bit know that you're surrounded by people that love you you know we see all these people that love the music that we play and we're we bond with people even though we're not actually speaking to them but mostly we just hang out and really just cut up and laugh till our ribs hurt <laughs> who's the funniest one in the group I'm thinking it's this guy, <laughs> Colonel Sanders, right? How dare you? How dare you? I don't like these guys. Sure. I'm stuck with them. It's, a, it's a strictly business. You're here for the money. Oh, yeah. yeah. All, all three dollars and fifty cents. All right, so we're going to go out there. We're going to find our seats. We're going to get a few more drinks, and we're going to enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we had a good time at the concert. Yes, fantastic. Um, Open Chord was very nice. Great, great venue. Great venue, great live music. The lead singer was spot on with, uh, as far as his imitation. Yeah, just like Michael Hutchinson. Michael Hutchinson yeah. and sang like yeah. him too. Yeah. What Johnny says he does before <laughs> a show, they do shots of very strong coffee. I guess that's espresso, I don't know. Right, well just to uh, get some energy, get to uh, enliven them a little bit. Well, great advice, great time. Thank you for joining me, sir. Hey, Jameson, it's always a pleasure to see you, pal. <laughs> it's always good to hang out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll have more Groom's Room later.